In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus LiCl. This is lead to nitrate plus lithium chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see there's one chlorine here and two here. I'm going to put a two in front of the LiCl. Balances the chlorines, but now I have two lithiums. Put a two here, two lithiums, and I have two nitrates. That's good because I have two nitrates here. Those are balanced. There's a lead on each side. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble. Write AQ, that's aqueous, it'll dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Lithium chloride, lithium compounds, chloride compounds, almost always soluble. But we have this lead chloride, lead to chloride. Whenever I see lead, I'm very cautious. So let's look this up on a solubility table. So here's a solubility table, and we'll find lead which is on the positive ions, lead 2 is right here, and chloride right down here. You can see most of the chlorides, S, are soluble, but lead 2 chloride right here, slightly soluble. When we do net ionic equations, slightly soluble, that's the same as insoluble. So we're going to call this insoluble. You note that lead, most of them are slightly soluble or insoluble, except for lead 2 nitrate and then lead 2 chlorate. So be careful when you see lead compounds. So we said that this lead 2 chloride is slightly soluble, and we're going to say that it's insoluble. So we'll call this a solid. When these two substances react, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. Some of it will be dissolved, but very little. So we have our solid. Nitrates, very soluble, AQ. So now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we have nitrate, the whole thing, is 1 minus. Since we have two of them, lead has to be 2 plus. So we have the lead 2 ion, and I won't write the states now. Let's write that later. Two nitrate ions. Lithium's in group 1. It'll have a 1 plus ionic charge, the chloride ion, 1 minus. So two lithium ions. And then we have two chloride ions. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we just have PbCl2. We said lithium was positive and the whole nitrate ion is negative, so we have two lithium ions, just like in the reactants, plus we have two nitrate ions, also like the reactants. So these are the products in our net ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. So I look here in the reactants, I see I have two nitrate ions right here and in the products. So let's get rid of those. Two lithium ions in the reactants and in the products, we get rid of those. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus LiCl. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead 2 nitrate plus lithium chloride. You'll notice we have 2 plus here, 2 times 1 minus is 2 minus, 2 minus, 2 plus, that adds up to 0, net charge of 0. Over here, neutral compound, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus LiCl. Thanks for watching.